Hi folks, this is Daryl Shergan, Quest for Vape. Yesterday I did a live first look at this UL Rafael X RDA. It's a new RDA designed by UL, the makers of the Crown, the makers of the Rafael. Uh, highly anticipated RDA. Uh, we were promised that it had some innovative features and I have to confess something. Yesterday, in my eagerness to get this in front of uh, people and show it, I overlooked some of the best qualities of this RDA and I'm regretful about that because I jumped the gun on this. I made some very basic assumptions and <laughs> they were wrong and it wasn't until I started talking with some more folks, some other reviewers, um, some other folks who have this in their hands can really figure it out. Um, but I sat down this morning and I watched a couple of different reviewers videos on this and I realized I made a big error. Um, the first of which I watched Brian, the Vapor Chronicles TVC channel on YouTube. I watched his video where he does a single coil, then he does a dual coil, then he does a quad coil, and he shows something very interesting. When you leave that neutral center post in and do what UL is calling a serial parallel build, serialize parallel mode. That's what these four coils. It is not at all what I was expecting. And I saw that, and it's in the instruction manual as well. I want to point this out, because here's what I did, dummy me. I look at their instruction manual. I see dual coil with just two posts, dual coil with the neutral center. I see those quads. And I saw that, and I completely disregarded that, because I don't like to build that way. Quad coils like that is usually way too freaking hot, way too intense. Um, it's not the way I like to vape. So I misunderstood what happens in this RDA when you build those quads. It's not what you were expecting. So take everything you thought you knew about building coils and RDAs, put it off to the side, then come back and look at this with a fresh perspective. Look at the math involved. Here's a diagram, and I'll do some close-ups of this. But there's a diagram of how the electricity flows through these coils using that dummy neutral post. Four coils is actually the equivalent of two. And that changes things quite a bit. So let me show you how I did my quad coils. I did them as verticals. And I went from, what do we got here? I went from negative to neutral, positive to neutral spun two clockwise and two counterclockwise coils so that I could have uh, one lower and one upper leg headed out that way. And if you do four the same way, all clockwise, you'll have to twist one. So you do two counterclockwise, two clockwise, and that's how mine came out. Let's take a look at this. Pulsing these coils at 43 watts. As you can see, they're glowing nicely. This is a 24 gauge Nichrome 80 anarchist wire, I believe. There you go. Four nice quads, vertical, firing very well. And as you can see, 0.48 ohm resistance. That's, that's a lot higher than it normally would have been if I did parallel or if I did quads on like a three post or even four posts. So that neutral, it's doubling what the resistance would normally be on a build like this. And they're firing very nice. Let's go wicket, come up top, vape on it, talk about it. Talk about how you cannot look at this RDA the same as you look at any other RDA. Hope you don't mind a little dubstep. This has been a long, messy process figuring this out. I did this build a bunch of different ways. Really screwed it up a bunch of different ways, actually. If you want to know the truth. You know, if you want, you can cut these at the top. If you pull that out, cut it off some. Okay. You pull these out and cut them. Just make sure you leave them long enough to hit the bottom of that deck. Stuff that back down in there.
good enough. All right, got the sizzle, we're good to go. Let's go back up top, they finally talk about it. I just build the way I know. I experiment and explore a little bit at a time. I reach a competency level and I expand on that. But this thing blew my mind. This thing was like, I couldn't even wrap my brain around the difference it makes because of that neutral. So, I was very dismissive of this RDA as not my favorite, nice, good for the price. No, this is this is innovative. You can play around and really, really experiment with this. You can you can experience something new that you never have before, and that's important in vaping. So I missed the ball on that one. Thank you very much, Brian Vapor Chronicles, for pointing that out. I also watched um, Billy Vaping Heathen. He did a few different builds on this. And that's what it really takes to get a feel for this RDA. You have to do a bunch of different builds yourself and see how they vape, see how they ohm out. Even the resistance on this is not the typical uh, vape that you would expect from how you build on two post, three post, uh, split center post. It's different. That neutral really is a game changer. Um, Mark Vape and Fagan has some really awesome in focus close ups on this RDA. And you're going to have to watch. A few different videos till you get the 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 idea of this. Um, that's what I had to do, and it's caused me to really want to go back and do another video. Um, this video is almost an apology to you all for being ignorant, for looking at this user manual and not reading it fully and not understanding. And they sent this they sent this whole thing just to be able to educate their consumer. These guys are smarter than me, that's for sure. Um, thank you very much to the other reviewers who did a more thorough job on this review than me, allowing me to circle back and really correct myself. Thank you, UL, for creating an innovative product and an affordable RDA. And if you're intrigued by what you've seen, not just by my video, but please watch other videos. If you're intrigued by that, pick one of these up and play around with it yourself.